Miracle Star Temple. Today we're reading Psalm 17. Hear the right, O Lord, attend unto my cry, give ear unto my prayer, that goeth not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence. Let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine art. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and shall find nothing. I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of my lips, I have kept the word of thy lips. I have kept me from the path of my destroyer. Hold up my going in thy path, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Incline thine ears unto me, and hear my speech. Shew thy marvelous love and kindness, O thou savest by the right hand them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who compass me about. They are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their bounds, their eyes bowing down to the earth. Like a lion that is greedy of his prey. And as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from the man which are thy hand, O Lord, from the men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fullest with thy, with thou fullest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babies and verse 17 says verse 15 says as for me i behold thy face in right in righteousness i shall be satisfied when i await with thy likeness to the chief musician Oh, so it stops at verse 15. So that was Psalms 18, verse 1 through 15. Psalm 17, verse 1 through 15. All right, so this is the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Let it be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen.